Hey there guys, I'm back to another video. Today we are taking a look at the Jack Pacific Sonic the Hedgehog 30th Anniversary 3-pack of 4-inch figures. Uh, so this is a multi-pack that they have released for the 30th Anniversary along with their line of Sonic the Hedgehog figures in celebration of said anniversary. So this is one of them. This is the one of the first products that has been seen on store shelves, more specifically at Target locations. So this is one of them. The other one is, actually I'm kind of a little more excited about this one just because uh, it is the Giant Eggman Robot Battle Set. Uh, if you guys know me, I love Jazzwares when they made their Sonic the Hedgehog figures, but they never made something like this at all they always stuck with like their three inch figures or like their five and super posers they never made like play sets so this is the first one i bought from jack specific we'll look at this in a separate video but today we're going to be taking a look uh more specifically at these sort of give you guys a unboxing and sort of of a first impression slash review of these figures uh like i said my bias is definitely still towards jazz race because i loved what they did with their sonic the hedgehog figures in the 20th anniversary line etc so we're just gonna take a look at these. I'm not super into uh, Jack Specific yet. I haven't bought a lot of their figures. I have bought uh, some of their plushies. I believe these are Jack Specific plushies. Yep, these are Jack Specific uh, classic Sonic plushies, but I haven't tried out any of their figures yet. So let's just first take an overview of the box. So you have a nice clear window of the three figures, Dr. Eggman, Sonic, and I believe this is Silver Sonic or Metal Sonic. I forget exactly what they're calling them now, but this is the uh, Mecha Sonic from Sonic the Hedgehog 2. You got some key art, the Sonic the Hedgehog logo 30th anniversary, and then you have the actual uh, sort of pack that it is officially called, four inch multi-pack in multiple languages, uh, the Jack specific logo, the 30th anniversary sticker. Well, let me just get that more in view, the 30th anniversary sticker. On this side, you have the same key art, but now within a ring. Jack specific once again and then the sort of uh I guess pictures of the said figures so you got Mecha Sonic is what it is officially called Sonic and Dr. Eggman and then they also have additional figures which these will be sold in single packs so people have been seeing these also on store shelves as well they have Mecha Sonic in the single Mighty I need to get Mighty I still have yet to get them uh, and then they also have Dr. Eggman and then a Sonic that is laughing. So uh, this is a special gift set as they call it. So yeah, this is pretty cool. Uh, this retailed for $24.99. I forget exactly how much. I'll have a picture on your screen somewhere uh, to show you the price and also the DPCI number. So if you happen to go to a Target location within your area, bring that number with you or just take a picture of the sort of uh, numbers that are on the screen because with those numbers, they can look it up and see if it is available at their location, if it's in the back, or they could check other stores for you and you could always go there or give them a call and see if they have it as well. But yeah, let's just get into the actual unboxing. So I think I'm gonna go at it from this side. All right, cool. Now that I've messed up the plastic, I'm not sure how, how I'm gonna get that back in there, but I'll figure it out later. So we got the figures here. Mecha Sonic, we'll look at them last. The uh, Eggman, it's actually really, really light. I think his body's actually hollow, which is nice. Then we got Sonic. So let's first look at Sonic. His sculpt is pretty good for a classic Sonic figure. Uh, I'm not sure what that red spot is. Maybe it's his tongue or something, but I honestly would have much have it, much or rather prefer it if it was just clear white. His head sculpt, good. Uh, his hands, so he has a closed fist and then this one's opened, but he didn't come with a accessory. So I'm not sure what this open hand is. His arms are in like a arch, but there's no points of, art of articulation to sort of um, uh, make it straight, which is fine. Um, it does look better. I know the uh, Jazzwares figures, they had points of articulation there, but obviously because uh, their figures had so many points of articulation, it, it does sort of make the figure look a little worse. 
Uh, his He does have a knee joint. He can twist at the ankle as well. Shoe looks nice. The paint job, you know, could be a little better, but you know, they are mass producing these, so I'm not gonna be too upset about it, especially since these are made for kids and not necessarily for collectors, but it would have been nice to have a, a slightly better paint job. But overall, this is a pretty good, uh, you know, four inch Sonic figure. I'll, I'll definitely later pull out the uh, Jazz Rares one and we'll do a little comparison to see on how that one looks compared to this one. But you know, I like this one, it's not bad. Definitely a pretty good uh, four inch classic Sonic figure. I wonder if he could stand on his own because his head is pretty heavy, it is not hollow. Uh, so it looks like he is having a slightly hard time standing up on his own. But, oh, it looks like I had it there for a second, but it's just, oh, all right, I'm, I'm just gonna put him against the wall. So that is Sonic. Now let's look at Eggman. So like I said, his, his body is hollow. Like he is very, very e light. Like I don't know if uh, you could hear that, but he is hollow. So he is a pretty light figure. And he was standing on his own earlier. Point of articulation, he does have elbow joints, unlike Sonic. So he can sort of uh, move his arms like this and, and it does swivel a little. His arms go out. Uh, does his head move? His head does move, which is nice. Uh, da, da, da. What else, what else? Uh, does he have Yep, he does have wrist joints. Uh, this one, it looks like it's popping off or like his wrists are actually on a ball joint, which is kind of interesting. Did not expect that. So you can do slightly different poses with his wrists because it is on a ball joint. Uh, his legs, pretty standard. Knee, ankle. His ankle does swivel a little too. So yeah, overall, once again, this is a pretty nice Eggman figure. I believe the only classic Eggman figure we got previously to this was Jazz Riz, which I will also bring out later for a little compare and contrast. But yeah, the paint job, like I said, could be a little better, but they are mass producing these figures for kids and not collectors in mind. But overall, very, very happy uh, with this Eggman figure as well. I think that it does look pretty good and it could be a replacement for the uh, the three inch line for Jazz Riz, just because those figures are obviously very expensive already as is because a lot of people want them and they are not in print anymore. Uh, but you know, I think that that could be a pretty good replacement for the previous uh, classic Eggman figure. Now for the real uh, star of the show when it comes to this pack, and I think a lot of people are, especially me, when I saw this pack, I was like, this is probably the only figure I'm super duper interested in because we've never had a Silver Sonic slash Mecha Sonic figure. So now we do. So his, his head is on a ball joint, which is pretty cool. You could do some kind of, uh, I guess, sinister poses with that uh his arms are on i'm not exactly sure what it's called but it can move up and down side to side his, his elbow does move and it can swivel as well uh he doesn't have any wrist articulation which is fine because i'm not sure what you would do with a wrist point for mecha sonic uh his legs move up and down he doesn't have uh actually does he have a knee joint i don't think he has a knee joint which is fine but his, his ankles do move out like all the way out like this. So that is pretty funny. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it is cool to have a Mecha Sonic figure because, you know, this is the first time he's ever had a figure. So I'm glad that uh, Jack Specific is bringing in some collectors in just because of the characters uh, for this line of figures like myself, because I definitely wouldn't have bought this if it had like I don't know, it was Tails or something. Like, I, I definitely wouldn't have bought this pack, but because it had Silver Sonic, I bought it. Uh, and I probably could have waited for the single pack that was shown on the back of the box. Probably could have just waited to go and buy the single one, but I saw this in store and I kind of just had to get it because I wanted to guarantee that I, that I got the Silver Sonic figure. So, uh, just give me one second. Let me just go and grab the other uh, Jazz Race figure so we can do a little compare and contrast. Okay, so now that I got the other Sonic figures uh, that I want to compare these to, the Jazzwares ones in particular, uh, so let's just compare the Eggmans first. So this is the Jazzwares 3-inch uh, Eggman that they came out with. He came with some uh, robots for the 20th anniversary celebration uh, that they did a while back. Uh, so let's just compare the two. Obviously, the 4-inch figure is going to be an inch taller. Uh, he is a little chunkier. His arms are a little more uh, thicker as well. Uh, but yeah, I think that this Eggman might be a little bit more proportionate to the classic Sonic uh, from Jazzwares. 
who's uh, pretty small, obviously, you know, three inches tall. Um, but this might be more proportionate to the actual game size. I'm not exactly sure how tall Eggman is compared to Sonic, but I feel like Eggman's a lot taller than Sonic. So this is actually pretty cool to see these two figures side by side, just to see the actual compare and contrast. Uh, but yeah, still, you know, this is a pretty good replacement for this Eggman because this Eggman does have more points of, of articulation. He is actually hollow. Uh, so he does stand on his own pretty well. This Eggman, uh, he does stand on his own well as well. Um, but, you know, he does get a little top heavy because he is literally a whole chunk of plastic. So it is good to see that that uh, Jack Specific were able to save some costs to make him actually hollow. So, you know, he doesn't um, uh, cost as much. And also, um, you know, he's just a lighter figure, which is nice as well. Now let's compare the Sonics to each other. So this is the one that came in this uh, four pack or three pack, the four inch Jack specific. Whoops, I just hit the camera, Jesus. Let me just fix that real quick. And then this one is the Jazzwares uh, four inch Sonic. This was their first print. He, he has a much darker blue. The later prints had a much lighter blue to have it uh, be different from the regular Sonic. So yeah, the second print was a much more lighter blue like this one. So yeah, this is pretty cool. Since I never got the second print of this Sonic, it is nice to have one that is a little more color accurate. Um, I definitely in the future want to go and get this Sonic within the lighter blue variant, but he is a little pricey on eBay. So I will uh, hold off on that for now, but he does have more points of, uh, of articulation within the legs compared to the arms. Uh, he does have one open hand. Um, what else is there? That's pretty much it. Uh, the expression is on the other side of the face. Uh, but yeah, both both figures are pretty good. Um, I think that it's just a matter of if you want more poses with the arms or if you want more poses with the legs, which I think there's only so much you could do with the leg poses. Um, but yeah, obviously this one is, is a lot more readily available now because he is in stores and actually on shelves. This one has been out of print for quite some time, but so overall, I definitely like both Sonic figures overall. And let me just have this Sonic next to the Silver Sonic. Uh, he is a, a lot taller um, than this Sonic. I'm not exactly sure if that's actually how the figures are. That actually is just how the figures are. Um, the uh, Silver Sonic is just very, very small. So let me see how he compares to the three inch Sonic then. So yeah, I mean, he is obviously taller because this one's supposed to be four inches, this one's supposed to be three. But I think that this is a, a, little, a little bit more game accurate. I, I'm not exactly sure. I think that Silver Sonic slash Mecha Sonic in Sonic 2 was a little taller than Sonic himself. So this is actually pretty cool to see as well, uh, to see these two side by side. And, you know, if you want to do some, you know, pretty cool uh, poses or some stop motion animations with these two figures, I think that these two would lurk perfectly, pretty much. So, yeah. But that is pretty much my video on the uh, three pack uh, for the Jack Pacific. 30th anniversary four inch uh, figures. These are awesome figures. Like I said, uh, go to your local Target, check in stores, ask a associate to see if they have it at other stores or, th or within the store you are currently at. Uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. If you guys have not already, you can subscribe and put new videos up on Saturdays. You can follow me on social media, Facebook and Twitter, try to put up to my future videos. Check out my podcast, the Travis and Dating Podcast. We talk about games, movies, and anime every other week. And yeah, that is all I have for today. Thank you guys for watching this video once again. I'll see you guys next time with more videos.